G'day Scribblers, welcome back to Painting with Riffsley. I'm painting Perish at Creek. Put a nice pale blue ground down with a little roller, well, bigger roller, got a little smaller roller. just sketched it in quickly just black straight over the blue this was a very fiddly painting lots of trees done a few perisher uh, paintings and the hard part is putting all those little trees in and the snow in between I find you can't just paint the trees on top of a white canvas. You need to paint the trees on the white canvas and then paint the snow in between the trees. And then paint the trees again and paint the snow again. And build it up. Quite a cloudy sky. A bit of blue poking through, a bit of grey cloud. This spot here is just down below Telemark, down below the Sun Deck Hotel, looking up the creek. So if you go down there, Telemark, the bottom of the Sun Deck, and look north, this is what you see. If you look right, It'll take you over to Smiggins Holes. I'm just building up the white there in between the trees. The sun's hitting this right hand side. The left hand side's in shadow. I'm going to bring the white out here. And I'll leave the left hand side quite blue. I'll fiddle with this sky. I should say fiddle. Work. I slaved over this sky. Trying to get a bit of perspective in there, going back into it with the blue. If you've been painting, and you'll know you just got to keep working on it, layering it up, layering it up. I could keep painting these paintings for weeks, but I give myself just a week, a few days if I've been working busy but I don't get too much time to work on them it's done to come together here now yeah, I'm going back in with the black back into the sky, back in with the black, back in with the white. What am I doing? What am I working on here? White or black? The time lapse moves so quickly, you can't keep up with it. Well, that's definitely going in with the white. I usually work in a certain area for a while then I'll move to another spot and let that area dry I can't paint white all over it and then go in with the dark over the wet paint I could for wet in wet technique but I tend to let it dry otherwise
guys. They'll get mixed together and turn grey. Still, it's not the end. I'm just letting you see where we're up to. So we've put it all marked in, and we're going to go in, add some finer details, fix that sky up a little bit more. I spent a lot of time getting the background. Right, the the snow and the trees before I added trees, or the snow and the bushes before I added big trees or rocks. Added detail to the to the river down there. It's quite zoomed in there. Enjoying painting with Rifty. It's been about a year and two months since I started. A year and two months? No, when did I start? It's been a long time. So it must be over 60 videos by now. Means I've got about 60 paintings. Minus the ones I've sold. If anybody wants to buy a painting, let us know. And I've also got beer coolers. So drop us a line. I'll get you a beer cooler. Your very own Riffsley beer cooler. Good for Coke as well if you're a Coke addict. Coca Cola. Putting the road in, you can see the road there, the road out, out of Perisher. Up the top, you can see those black lines going across. Added the tree. Put some detail in now. Well, that's a very bright blue. Turn the light on. Come together. Must be getting near the end. Yep, that's it. I'll give it a thumbs up. Share it around if you want. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Saturday for more Painting with Riffsley.